hey welcome to this excel video tutorial in this video i'm going to show us two out of the 14 brand new functions called the htac and the vstac so let's get started in the previous video we looked at the text split text after and the text before functions which were awesome and i love them so much now in this video i want to see the h tag and the v tag. so let's see what each of this function does so i'm going to come to cell a3 equal sign h tag it horizontally sticks arrays into one array and for the v tag vertically sticks arrays into one array now let's see how we can actually apply this to our data set and make a ton of work done. Now, based on our data set, we have you know report for the month of January, February, and March. And of course, this data set is already formatted as an Excel table. And if you check the table design contextual ribbon tab, we have named the table using the corresponding month name. For instance, we have the month of Chan, we have for Feb and for March. Now, our goal is very simple. We want to come to the summary sheets and append or want to take all the report for the month of January, February, and for the month of March on top of each other. And also, we actually want to get the total at the bottom using the H tag function. So let's roll in because we want to vertically stick all the data set first. Now, press the tab key. Now, for the array, I do not need to go through each of these sheets because they are in an Excel tables and we can actually use the structured referencing syntax so let's get started so the first i want to call the month of january table and open the square bracket i want to point to all now all simply means i want to actually call also the headers or the labels okay so close the square bracket comma and for the array two i'm going to put in the month of february table the entire table excluding the labels at the top and for the array three for the month of March table. Now, so when I close this parenthesis and I hit control enter, that's beautiful. It's so simple, okay? We have all the report for the month of January all through to the month of March and all the sales amount also pulled across. This is absolutely awesome. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do is we want the total at the bottom. So I'm gonna backspace and put in a comma. So for the array four, I'm gonna deploy the H tag okay the horizontal stakes okay and for the array one of the H tag function I'm gonna put inside double quote total close the double quote comma and for the array two I'm gonna use the sum function now what I'm what I'm gonna do is very simple I actually want to go through all the month of January February and March so to do that I'm gonna call the name of the table which is John open the square bracket I want to point to the sales column Close the square bracket, comma, and for the number two, I want to point to the February table. Open the square bracket, I want to point to the sales column, close that, comma, and finally for the month of March, I want to call the March table. Open the square bracket, point to the sales column, close the square bracket, close the um, formula, the H stack and the V stack, and that's all. When I control enter, and let's check at the bottom. Can you see we have the total, which is $3,196,121. Now let's quickly verify this, whether it is actually correct. So I'm going to come to cell E2989 equal sign sum. So I'm going to come here and get the sales column and hold down the shift key. And of course, I want to group the entire three sheets. And that's all. Close the parentheses, control, enter, control, shift, four. Oh, that's amazing so we achieve the same total so this is essentially how we can use the v stack and the h tag you know to get a ton of work done i hope you enjoyed this video if you do you can like you can share subscribe to the channel thank you and bye for now cheers